What's going on, everybody? This is FHRC Brony, and um, pardon the mess on my desk. Um, plus, I got this little RC car um, here on my table. Um, I'm, as you can see, this is a Ford GT body that I uh, painted myself, and this is actually from Traxxas. Um, Yes, the Ford GT body is back on the Fortech. Kind of. The reason why I'm saying kind of because this is actually uh, not the original body that I got when I got the Fortech. This was actually. Let me put this on my lap real quick. This right here was the original Ford GT body. This is the one when I actually, when I got the, my first Fortech. Um, yeah, look how trashed it is. Oh, really scratched it real bad, you know. I bashed the living crap out of this thing, so, yep. And, uh, yep, it's seen better days. It's seen better days. But, here's the new one. And, um... Uh, this is a. Uh, I actually happen to put Forza Motorsport stickers on my, pretty much all, almost all my RCs because I'm a huge Forza fan, and um, there's a valid reason why I put the Forza, the lo Forza logo here. It's not just because I'm a Forza fan. It's mainly because Forza Motorsport Six, act the cover art of Forza Motorsport Six is literally the Ford GT, uh, 2017, uh, Ford GT. So, I have a reason why to put, a valid reason to put a Forza logo on the Ford GT. So, um, I just want to go over the things I've done with this thing. Uh, I didn't really do a very careful job because I could actually feel a little bit of paint, white paint, um, oversprayed here on the, the passenger side rear uh, fender wells. Um, but you will be, you guys are probably not going to see it because, you know, it's white and you could barely see it. But I can feel it. And um, when I got the packaging, the windshield was, uh, the, the sticker sheet was kind of like crumpled. So it wasn't, oops, sorry for moving the camera. Uh, um, the sticker sheet was kind of crushed. A little bit and um, it didn't the windshield um, putting the windshield on wasn't really a pleasant thing to do at least for me on all, all the times I've actually installed um, painted new bodies and applied stickers on and I'm not really a big fan of um, putting sticker window stickers on it um, I like making my windshield and windows clear on RC bodies um, but this one actually has to be the, an exception because oh actually my uh, Ruster 4x4 body also has to be an exception but this one uh, in this case it's a it's actually this body is not a one piece thing than unlike on any other RC body this is actually a um, a three piece uh, three piece set and the reason why the tracks has had to do that is because in order to get the proportions um, to match the actual Ford GT, uh, including the flying buttress, uh, they have to make it a three-piece um, body. So you have the main body, which is the, um, the bottom portion of the car, and then you also have the roof and the flying buttress, and... You also have the rear bumper so and yes this is a legitimate flying buttress it's um, you can actually see my hand probably go through there see that's actually an opening it's really hard for me to portray here on camera especially if it's on this weird angle but yeah it does have a, an actual flying buttress but I'm not too sure if that really if aerodynamics really plays a role on this RC. I think it's just mainly for cool looks. But if it does function, um, I'd be surprised. 
Um, and since this is a three-piece uh, body, um, you also have to use some double-sided tape that goes on over here, over here, and uh, underneath the flying buttress. Anyways, I also added some LED lights, but I, the way I made the light buckets was pretty, I, I wouldn't say ghetto, I would call this the poor man's way. All I just used was, if I can go ahead and take this off real quick for you guys. All I just did was, was use some electrical tape and some masking tape. So I wanted the, head, the headlights to be uh, black kind of want them dark so the light will sh uh, be shining on the thing pretty decently so it's not a you know it's just a thing that I like to do um, I sh could have done um, DIY style light buckets um, where I actually can take a soda can and cut it to in pieces so I can actually fold them together and do that. Unfortunately, that did not execute well because if you guys look a little bit closer to the body, some paint is being scra scraped off and um, you can see some of them over there. So, unfortunately, that um, didn't work out well. So I actually just had to do um, the poor man's way by just putting some black electrical tape and just shine an LED in there. And, you know, it works fine. You know, I'm not really going to be driving this thing um, with this body you know full time as this actually is um, the the chassis only Fortec I have um, and that's the one with the Ferrari 458 Italia body that I got from Tamiya and in fact I still have the 458 Italia up I, I can show you that right now so it's right over here um, this is the like I said this is the There you go. And that's the Ferrari 458 Italian body from Tamiya. Um, you can, uh, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping the 458 because I like the 458. Um, but yeah, but I um, put the Ford GT body in here uh, uh, instead of the 458 Italia body. Um, if I get another Fortec chassis only I can go ahead and put this body on that one and then put the 45 Italia back on this chassis um, and stuff like that so anything else on the body um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these back on put these little pins And uh, I, aside from, you know, a little bit of some rough parts on this body, you know, I really enjoyed it. You know, this is the first time I ever painted a three-piece body. Um, it's because uh, at first when I got the Fortec, um, the original Fortec with, the, with that black Ford GT body, um, it, uh, I didn't know it was a three-piece body until... I watched a tutorial on Traxxas on how to assemble a 4GT, uh, the 4GT body, so you learn stuff every day, so, and uh, I really don't like putting body pins on the, on the 4GT, because it's really hard on the front to get that in there, but um, as you also notice in the back, um, you're wondering how the heck did I get this wing up high. like I said the car is painted white so uh, I'm like, there you go hopefully you can see hopefully you can see that um, how I actually do that is it's pretty simple let me go grab the black one again so all I did is I'm um, sorry for some holes because I actually originally put a an actual rear wing on this thing uh, before all I just did was, um, I basically 
cut uh, this part. I cut this section of the wing right here. And then, yeah, I just used some body, body scissors, body cutters, and just went through this line. And then I just, all I just did next, uh, since I had extra parts that I had from my HPI over the wing, all I just had to do was take the struts out and you know, use the struts and bolted them in onto the onto the wing. Uh, poke some holes and there you go. I we have a a deployed rear wing on a Ford GT. Um, I'll probably make a tutorial on, on that eventually. I don't know when am I gonna do it, but hopefully soon. Um, the only trick to getting the wing deployed. On the Ford GT body is the uh, the bolts that actually hold the struts from the body. You actually have to. There are screws uh, that hold this body in place on the back that you have to finagle with, and you gotta take in order to put these struts on. You have to take these two exhaust pipes out, and that's how you can get it in there easily. So, yeah. But um. Yeah, underneath this Ford GT body is just a brushed um, chassis, a you know, just a regular Fortech 2.0 all-wheel drive chassis with the brushed motor system. Um, and like I said, this is the, actually the one that's that was with the Ferrari 458 Italia body that I put on. Um, and that's gonna that 458 Italia body is gonna go back to this one. Uh, back on this chassis um, But as of right now, it's gonna be this four GT until I get the other four tech 2.0 chassis eventually not as soon as I like but eventually and um, This this body will be on the new one and then the four five Italia will come back on this chassis um, I also have another four tech uh, 2.0 uh, that had you which that actually came with the now, Ford GT body, the black one that I have, but now it has the Lexus LFA body, and this body is actually from Protoform. Um, I actually have a LFA body that's also being shipped to me. Um, I'm still waiting for that to. I already ordered it in advance. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. I actually got it like back in. February 19th so it's already over a week so over a week um, I haven't got any any word yet but it will be here eventually and uh, um, I will put the new body on this chassis because I actually love the LFA and stuff like that so yeah that's the pretty much what's up so yes, the Ford GT is back on the Fortech, but this time it's now white. Anything else? Oh yeah, speaking of which, um, speaking of lighting, the headlights over here. Now um, that's the only lights that actually are functioning in on the RC. Um, I was gonna plan to do a tail light. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. I wasn't able to execute that with the regular LEDs that I had, um, so I have to actually uh, get a an actual tail light that Traxxas actually offers for the Ford GT body uh, and put it on this one. So that's kind of that's kind of a miss, but you know, to each their own. But anyways, hey, nonetheless, the Ford GT body is here, so yeah. Anyways, guys, it's already almost a 15-minute video. Um, this is just me, another rambling video of me talking about this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.